Frédéric Chopin was actually not the first one who has freed the prelude from the shackles of the fugue. Joseph Kessler did that 10 years earlier, dedicating the cycle to actually Chopin. But history often remembers not the first ones, but the brightest ones. Each of these small preludes by Chopin presents a certain emotion or a musical idea. And despite that, each of us feels and understands this music in a very personal, in a very unique way. For example, the prelude number 15 is named by Bulov Raindrop. And this is the name we know. However, Alfred Cortot has described this piece very differently. But death is here in the shadows. So as we see, we might perceive this music either as a sentimental piece or as a very tragic one. Scrabin was absolutely obsessed with the idea of the flight. The legend says that his favorite physical activity was jumping. One of the challenges connected with the Scrabbing set of preludes that he often changes the mood not just between the pieces, as mostly Chopin does, but also during the piece. Some of them change their mood in a very unexpected way like a prelude in C minor, from an extreme excitement to a deep tragedy. Or from an ultimate tenderness to an ecstatic climax 